hello everybody and welcome to the channel so today just quickly starting over on the daily time frame um i've put my moving averages just so that you know they can provide a bit of guidance um but looking here we can see that we have this level over here that i have highlighted in this rectangle maroon zone we can see that yesterday's candle which was monday the 12th we had a dragonfly uh doji candle here and i think that today we're pushing above despite the 20 and the 50 maybe creating a bit of pressure um i'm still i still think that maybe price can push up maybe make a double top to this level here and then look for those cells that i've been longing for for a minute now and this is simply just because we have a trend line bounce with a very strong bullish candle over here so i think that there is a potential for price to maybe continue up to this and make a double top and then move down so right now i am currently short term on the bullish side um hopefully before getting those cells moving over to the four hour time frame so we can see here that price, we did have lower lows and lower highs, but now it looks like we've passed this level over here. Moving average is also creeping up and price is above. So hopefully maybe we can get a small retracement. I have this temporary trend line here. I don't know if this is like going to be like a steep angle, if price might retrace again to come back to this level here. But ideally, because I'm an intraday trader, I'd like to hope for some let's see okay so we can see that price is now this is the one hour time frame i'm hoping that i can get a small retracement maybe back to this level here or even this one if i take my fibonacci level you can see we have the 50 here we have 50 moving average and you have the 61.8 yeah so even if price does come back to even the 78.6 even like down here this would be pretty cool so basically today i'm just waiting for a retracement before looking for the buys and we can see that price i normally change my previous day highs and lows um uh, support and resistance lines of different colors so that's why this one is in maroon and we have a zone over here as well so if price does come back to this zone it's fine but we can see that we have broken above yesterday's high so yeah this is what i'll be waiting for ideally um let me see this has been the pound has just been a bit tough you know so i'm really hoping that i can get something i normally target 60 pips um yeah something like that if i can get a bullish candle here a proper bullish candle um that would be nice at least so that i can get a trade because yesterday there was also a lot of consolidation nothing nothing major yeah and if it can also bounce on these moving averages that will also be good confidence as well so just going over to the daily uh to the dollar index we can see that with the dollar this is the weekly time frame we have this um this wick this candle and i don't know if price will come and like maybe make a wick uh wick fill because this might probably be the only reason that would support maybe buys, short-term buys on the pound before maybe retracing up. Because these candlesticks are never, this is never a good candlestick. It normally means that price will come and touch this level here and fill it up before moving upwards. So that is also a reason as to why I'm looking for a short-term buy on the pound before, you know, uh, hoping for those buys on the dollar as well. So yeah, just looking at this today, we have, yeah, we have, uh, oh, I forgot what this is called. Uh oh, somebody please remind me in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, you can see that price is struggling above this level here. It's not past it yet. So I don't know if it'll continue pushing down, but I guess for this one, we'll just have to wait and see. Lots of consolidation again, which is not so good, but I guess it's because we have news and just going over to the calendar. Today we have news at 3.30 p.m. East African time because I am in Kenya. So I guess we'll just see how the news goes. Hopefully it can push um, the dollar as well so that we can get trades on the pound. Yeah, and Wednesday we have some news at 9 a.m. EAT and 3.30 p.m. Some pound and some USD news, CPI. Ooh, okay, so we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully I should make another video and yeah, we'll be in the markets together. Um, please subscribe if you found this insightful. Also comment on what you think so that we can learn together. And thank you for everybody who comments. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it because it also gives me insight. I'm not a pro trader. I am just, you know, out here figuring out the market. So I'd appreciate any help that I can get. All right, bye-bye. Have a good day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.